Hi, I'm Pete the Plumber from the Australian Valve Group, AVG, and we've been involved in the heating and control valve market since 2000. AVG as a company is fortunate to have a talented team dedicated to bringing new and innovative products to the Australian plumbing industry. AVG has a national distribution network with offices and warehousing in Perth and Melbourne. I'd like to take this opportunity to explain the expansion rate of an expansion control valve. The only requirements for the selection of an expansion control valve is that the set pressure of the expansion control valve is lower than the set pressure of the TPR valve and higher than the incoming water pressure. Comments have been made that if a lower pressure expansion relief valve is used, the system will waste water. During the heat up cycle of a storage hot water heater, the water within the cylinder will expand approximately 3% no matter when the expansion commences. We have prepared a short video to show you in real time just how quick the pressure within a storage water heater rises. We've set up a water heater here with 500 kPa inlet pressure and just turned on the electric element. You can see just how quick the energy going into the water heater starts to expand the water. The first valve that AVG has available, or the lowest valve, is a 600 kPa setting. And as you can see within these few seconds, it's reached that already. So the water heater would start to be expanding and wouldn't raise any higher than that during its operation, which is helpful for maintaining the longevity of a water heater. The next setting available through the AVG range is a 700 kPa expansion relief valve. And we've just reached that now, which is just a few seconds more again. Start dripping. Once again, it would maintain that pressure throughout the water heater and the hot water service. The next available pressure from AVG for an expansion relief valve is 850 kPa. And uh, we're just coming up to that now. As you can see, it really is no time at all between these different settings. So the comment about wasting water is neither here nor there. The next and uh, last setting for an expansion relief valve available is 1200 kPa. And uh, that normally goes with a 1400 kPa temperature and pressure relief valve. What that does is uh, keep the water heater and the hot water service at 1200 kPa, which if you just extrapolate that a bit further for those states that don't use um, an expansion control valve, for the smaller water heaters, their pressure setting is 1400 kPa and uh, the water heater and the water service, hot water service, would be seeing those pressures until the tap's turned on for the first time. As you can see, it takes next to no time to be up to that 1200 kPa pressure, which would then be maintained. For those states that don't use an expansion control valve, this continuation of this demonstration is uh, the smaller water heaters are set to around about 1400 kPa on the TPR valve. And as you can see, it's getting up to that 1400 now, which would then maintain that pressure during the whole heat up cycle. Until a tap's operated from that point, effectively, all you will have is the whole hot water service will be set at 1400. So that's very high. As you can see, the advantages of having a, a lower set relief device, so an expansion control valve set at, say, 700 kPa, is that the water service, the hot water service, and the water heater will never see more than that pressure. Hope that's explained it.